everybody and welcome to my great kitchen of science here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It's good to be seeing everybody again for another virtual science session. In this one, we're going to be studying plants and we're mostly thinking about what plants are doing with the energy they get from the sun. We already learned that, that plants absorb sunlight and then use oxygen, or I'm sorry, carbon dioxide, the sunlight and minerals in order to create a sap that they use to stay alive. Well, then what happens is then animals eat it and energy begins to travel through the ecosystem. But in this lab specifically, we're going to see what happens when a plant is not exposed to light. We're just going to find out, hopefully, just how important light is. As you can see right here, I have these two plants. Here is plant one and here is plant two. These are both basil plants that we just bought at the store, okay? There's not anything really unique about them. They're being held up by chopsticks in, co in coffee cups. This is dirt that I got from the yard. Each day for seven days, these plants are going to be watered at the same time except plant number two right here is going to sit in a dark closet. And I'm gonna do my best not to expose this plant to light at all. What your job is, is your job is to record observations each day. I'm gonna post a video each day on Seesaw and you'll be able to see it and update your lab. Let's check out the lab really quick. Here's the big plan assignment. As you saw from previous assignments, you need to make a copy of this Google, Google Doc and save it in your Google Drive. And then in part one, you need to bit watch a big plant video and I want you to learn more and review what you do know about plants. In part two, you're gonna begin the lab. This goes over the explanations of what I just said on the video. First, you need to make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen to the plant in the closet? Next, you're gonna make, you're gonna test your prediction through observations. This is what I just said. In good notes, draw a picture of each plant every day. Okay, this is based on the video that I'm putting up on Seesaw every day, beginning with this video. Today's observation is gonna be right here. You're going to describe what you saw, and then you're going to put your two drawings that you drew in good notes right here in the Google Doc. And you're going to do it for seven days. If you're really diligent, you're going to notice differences in what you see. Also, be sure in your drawings to label the parts of the plants. You can't just do a green thing and expect us to know what it is. And finally, you're going to talk about your results. Talk about whether or not your prediction from part A was correct. Why or what, why not was it correct? And then there's some other questions to go along with it. Finally, you're going to want to talk about what plants do with the energy they get. You see these cards right here? These cards correspond with these questions. You need to talk about what each individual plant is doing with its energy. Here's a sprout that keeps growing. There's an apple tree. And then there is a tree with a bunch of roots. When you're done, of course, make sure that you link this Google Doc to your Seesaw activity. And if you don't know how to do it, there's a link for how to do it. So really quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the camera at each of these plants. Use this time to make your observation for day one. Here is plant one. Making good observations includes talking about different colors. Maybe talk about how tall it might be, if you notice anything different, like if a plant is withering or dying. Here is plant number two. This kind of came this way, so 
that's not right away. That's not immediate. Again, these are basil plants. And there you have it. I hope you enjoy this lab. It should be a fun lab if you participate and do all your observations. This will set you up for the rest of the school year. So please take this seriously. And as always, make sure you get this on time by 4 p.m. on Saturday. I'll see you for the next one.